Taurus singles, welcome. Super singles, completely singles. This is your mid-November singles read, Meet the Soulmate. An uh, eight card read. I'm simply going to try to describe the soulmate, the one that's right for you. So it's not really a triggery reading, not really negative. If the Three of Swords pops out, nobody's getting broke up with in this reading anyway. So I look at this as, uh, you know, maybe it's the Sag in me. But when you're single, man, you know, the opportunities and here opening it up wide open, Saint Spirit, you know, who's this one that's right for me? How do I know him? Well, we're going to try to get to know them right here. Uh, if I can describe them, their personalities, stories, uh, personal history, astrology. We'll be pulling the sun, moon, Venus, and Mars at least. See what else we get. And um, So this is uh, someone you probably haven't met yet. So I see it. It's uh, someone new. Okay. Not the next ex-wife, the next ex-husband, not the next ex-problem, the right, the right one. Okay. For Taurus, mid-November. Okay. Alright, we're going to look at, <laughs> told you don't worry if the Three of Swords comes out, no one's getting broke up with, but it's not good for your person's childhood. This is where I read the moon energy. And we'll pull two cards for the emotions here. The three of swords and the wheel of fortune, Jupiter. Wow. So here, look, emotional energy. Then we're gonna look at the intellectual, the sexual and love nature, and last, the uh, core values and lifestyle. This is a very interesting combination here. I'm thinking about your person's childhood. What might have happened? I get the feeling they're going to tell a story where someone stepped in, and that's represented by this Jupiter person. Um, it could be a grandmother, but the grandfather could be very prominent here. And this was during some time in their childhood when they was particularly needed. Um, when somehow their parent fell down, you know, on the job. Um, it's just highly auspicious that you have the Wheel of Fortune here, guys. Jupiter might be significant for this person. I, I get this feeling of a grandfather figure and... Um, that the grandfather right now is very most likely also their angel. Okay, if, if you believe in that. So, a page of cups in the intellectual position. Four pinnacles. Page of cups and four pinnacles. You know, it's the Page of Cups is looking at the Three of Swords here. And I, one thing that comes to mind, someone that has not been made bitter by the things that happened to them in life. I've got to throw in my own girlfriend here. When I think about her childhood, she's such an amazing and wonderful and open, and loving and strong and whole person. And it's like, you know, how do you do that when you have so little support? But this person has such a big heart that, and I think we have a Pisces son here, person, um, that they literally even uh, completely forgive and, and release uh, and understand and, and love um, their parent uh, in a really uh, unconditional way. But it has left them with this Four of Pentacles here. Mm. Feeling like they kind of always have to be aware of what they're giving, of how much they're, they have to gauge how much energy they spend. Um, I want to use the word husband themselves, male or female, 
they're spiritually, emotionally, even physically, they may want to husband their energy. They wouldn't be someone, for instance, who's going to want to go out and push themselves and push themselves. It's like they'd always they think, you know, they might literally say, like, I spent a long day and, you know, I don't really do well with the, with the four hours sleep. I, I really need to be thinking about heading home. Um, and this may be the way they kind of deal with their whole life and put this all together. But this person who now I think is their angel, if they're past for sure, guards over them. I feel like this is a Gemini moon, this Three of Swords. Pisces, Sun, the Gemini moon. Yeah. Um, this is a person, I said with the uh, read, the last read, the Aries read, um, I don't think they were given a lot in life other than to help, really, this grandfather and his grandmother too, I'm sure, this couple that stepped in, it's going to be their story, and that intervened, I mean, um, they, they brought them what stability they've known and what love they've known, you know. Um, and it's a little bit like angelic uh, energy, um, like uh, if, if they were to stop and think, what would have happened to me if granddad and grandma hadn't been there to step in? I mean, really, a uh, foster home, I mean, it, it was a miracle, kind of, right? Real fortune, sexually, love nature, justice over the six of swords hmm. let's look at their core values and lifestyle four of cups that's interesting and knight of cups okay i really like that that's very clear the four cups over there we'll skip the sex stuff for a minute let's look at water. Hmm. it is odd wise we <laughs> um, they only invest energy in what they love so this is one thing it's like uh, again there's someone that's kind of had to do things themselves why, why they're a little bit conservative you know um, they put money away why because they knew they didn't have anybody to borrow money from things went south um, why did they take care of themselves they know they can't ever afford to get sick because they got to take care of themselves um, so they don't put a lot of energy into anything they don't really love and care about. That's definitely going to be true of work. There's another little similarity to the reading just now with Aries. Um, but this person is really seeking emotional satisfaction in their work. Um, we have a Pisces here. Gemini Moon. That's got to be an Aquarius Venus. That would make a lot of sense. And I think they may have also an Aquarius Mars. So they got an Aqua Venus and an Aqua Mars to go with their Pisces Sun and a Gemini. So this person's kind of air dominant here. You know? But when it comes to doing their work, when it comes to taking action, they're all about, they got it's got to feel right to them. They're just not going to put the energy in it. And I think once it does feel right, they put a lot of energy in it. And this could apply to love, too. I mean, this is uh, also their lifestyle. So that includes, like, the home, the home life. Um, it's another person, that seems to me. They're not going to want a busy home life. They're going to want to return to night to the castle, take off their suit of armor and be able to relax. But, I mean, in terms of the love nature, you can't overemphasize the air uh, nature and fixed of this person. So, likely, too, um, you know, it's got the justice here. I know it's Libra, but think Aquarius justice. And they're going to have a long memory to this person. They may have a sexual history, just 
fair warning. Uh, I always say, if you want to hire someone for a job, why, of course you want someone who has experience. So this looks like someone that would probably, uh, now this is your soulmate, this is the one that's right for you. So I'm not saying they're going to want a menage a trois, uh, but they're just someone who probably doesn't consider sex to be sacred in the way that some others might, you know, uh, like a Cancer Venus or something, or Cancer Mars. Well, say you had a Cancer Venus in Mars, they're very most likely, just by sign, uh, going to be more th that way. Um, and to them, it's just the most natural thing. And so, generally speaking, they have a very healthy alignment. Um, they're, uh, you know, they're not going to be codependent. They're not going to, um, you know, get involved in any kind of a nonsense. They'd probably cut right through and move away from, you know, the uh, way this Mars is acting. You know, it's, uh, it wants to just remove itself from controversy and stuff. Um, so um, maybe just seeking uh, emotionally um, uh, affinity in a relationship and um, kind of a peace, I think. Because justice in the Six of Swords, like, uh, they're probably just going to consistently walk away from anything that's not peaceful to them and would, that doesn't, you know, uh, make them feel like the Knight of Cups, like they really want it doesn't feel like just exactly the right thing for them. They easily just let go of it. Four of Cups, let go of it. Six of Swords, energy. So, I think that gives us something to go on, guys. Let me know if uh, it resonates with you. This is meant to be a predictive read. So you may not see this showing up here for a few weeks or a week as we go into mid-November. But it's really for whenever you see it. But it is meant to be someone's probably not in your life just yet. Do check out the Soul Family Read. It's got up on, my, on a Monday here. It's a collective daily read for whatever resonates. Uh, a little more about spirituality than uh, romance. And um, let me know what you think. Leave a comment, likes, shares, tell a friend, tell a friend. Please do subscribe. Thank you, guys.